Hey guys, it's Tams the Wicked Witch. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. So we are doing Vlogtober and this is video 28 for the 28th of October. And of course, tonight is the full moon. So I thought I would go over a few different things that you can do to celebrate the full moon and to perhaps engage in some kind of full moon ritual or you know all of the kind of things that we do um, associated with a full moon now what makes this full moon special is obviously it's Samhain and Halloween on Tuesday coming so it's the weekend prior to that the vow is very thin um, between the worlds um, it's the perfect opportunity to manifest some fantastic some fantastic things so it's all kind of coming together this weekend and into monday tuesday so it's the absolute perfect time to to do lots of things you know and make use of this time um spiritually um so one of the things that people like to do obviously is they like to create their full moon water on the full moon so the idea of um, making your own moon water um is that you put it out on the first full moon and then take it back again on the on the second full moon so you know it doesn't matter what month you do it and usually that lasts you then another month and then you put some more out so i've got quite a lot actually i've also got rosemary in mine in case you wondered what all these bits are um and a little picture of a moon <laughs> so i've got quite a lot so i actually don't need i actually don't need to make any but mine's just sitting down there and i have a clear roof so um over my little seating area in my garden so the moonlight can actually shine through and still hit that a little bit so so lots of people also like to put out their crystals and their um magical tools um, um this time of year so to to charge up well obviously with it being the full moon um and also approaching sour and it's just perfect time to give everything a really good cleanse so you can put your farmers and any working tools that you use within your witchcraft out under the moon to charge and cleanse um and of course your crystals now some crystals be careful with um charging charging them so obviously um you, you shouldn't really put selenite out selenite is really not something that you should put outside because it's it disintegrates if it gets water on it it will disintegrate um so charging charging selenite outside is not really a very good idea if you can charge it on a window ledge where the moon shines through then that would be much better so just remember do not get selenite wet because it will disappear and you'll go back and it won't be there it actually disintegrates so that's um that's obviously something to bear in mind if you are going to charge everything <laughs> out there tonight um any uh, crystals associated with um with saturn and venus you shouldn't put them together so if you do have any crystals associated with those two planets and planetary signs do not put them out there together um it, it's not a good idea now people say that green aventura and quartz should not go together at all or be put out together well i don't quite agree with that because I use green aventurine in money, um, quite in money magic quite a lot. And I also use quartz crystal. So everybody's got their own ideas and lots of people say, you know, say different things. And I think sometimes it's what works for you. Um, so this red jasper and blue laser gate shouldn't really be charged together. They don't like each other. Um, but then some people might say, well, I've used them two together in a spell or a ritual or you know or when making an oil or something like that and it's worked so everybody's different but um for me that would also be a no-no so um yeah you can put your tools perhaps on a nice cloth in the so they can you know so the moon so they're in the moonlight as it comes around into your garden if you've got a conservatory um and there's lots of moonlight or light coming through or a bit like me i've got like a plastic one of those plastic conservatory roofs um you know so it can come through you could actually sit it outside and let everything let everything be um drowned in the moon's light and the rays um to cleanse everything so um and then it's ready to use again on on tuesday which of course is Samhain. so so why is this moon called a hunter's moon sometimes a blood moon well people say that the reason that moons are named after colors sometimes is due to the way it's positioned with the sun or with shadowing from the earth um a blood moon it, making it kind of orange um from the reflection or the shadowing you know 
many, many, many moons ago, before we knew all of that kind of stuff, it was called a blood moon. Reason why is because blood moons were when hunters were able, you know, were, were at their highest, highest hunting rate, and that would be gathering for the winter, for the winter ahead, for the cold, for the cold months ahead. And that's why um, it would be called a hunter's moon or a blood moon because, you know, they were hunting and there was a lot of blood. It wasn't, I don't think, I think I'm pretty much right in saying it. It may be that now, the way it's shadowed, it makes it red or light with when we have a blue moon. That's something to do with the way the, the axle's positioned or something like that. <laughs> um, but I don't think that was the case, you know, thousands of years ago because they didn't have any of that knowledge so again it was the time a bit like the harvest moon the the autumnal harvest moon um that we celebrate around Mabin in september of course is when the harvest was was being brought in to store up for those cold months and that's when everything was being harvested and that's why it's called harvest moon obviously you always have the harvest moon um at the end of the harvest which is of course the autumnal Mabin. um what, what pagans celebrate as Mabon, which is September, in September, um, around the 21st. And of course, that moon always, um, so you've always got the harvest moon. And then after the harvest moon, you've always got the hunter's moon or the blood moon um, for October. Um, it's just fantastic that this full moon is obviously um, very, very close to Samhain and Halloween. Um, extra spooky for the kids and obviously extra fun for us witches. <laughs> Um, so we can be doing lots of different things. So, so yeah, you can you can do lots of things on a full moon, but setting your tools and getting your tools outside and giving them a good cleanse and powering them up in that moonlight, your crystals and your magical tools, and you know you can put your broom out there and you can do anything you want. You can put your robes out there, you know. Just remember the weather's bad. <laughs> you can put anything out there that you use within your magic. Um, you know, fantastic, fantastic time to charge it up. Um, so again, because we're approaching Samhain and again, Samhain is Witch's New Year, um, Halloween, 31st of October is the Witch's New Year. So you kind of want to be thinking of those things as well, because you want to be preparing for your new year. Uh, you know, any goals that you want to achieve, looking back at what you have achieved year to year. And when I say year to year, I mean, which is year to year. For the 31st to the 31st what have you achieved what didn't you achieve get rid of all the turmoil and all the crap that's happened remove all of that that's all done with and start afresh you know just like the calendar new year um when we set all our goals and we have our new year's resolutions it's exactly the same but in a in a witchy way of the things that we want to do so it's perfect time for spells um again easy little spells anything you want to achieve bay leaves create the intention Right, whatever it is you want on a bay leaf, set fire to it. Cost nothing apart from the bay leaves, and you can get them in Tesco's for a pound. Very cheap, very easy, very effective. I've done videos here. If you look through my playlists in the um, witchcraft and pagan section, and also um, witchcraft on a budget, you'll see lots of things with with bay leaves. They really, really are effective. Um, obviously, moon water. You can have um, perhaps a ritual bath and cover yourself in your moon water that you're going to make you know that you're going to make i like to leave my mine out for to get a great big batch of it it's great to do month to month but even if you only left it out for two nights under the moon it would still it would still be powerful i mean leaving it out for the whole cycle of all the moons is fantastic and you can use that for other things but you can you can leave it out for two nights and you can use it. You can you can put it in a bath. Um, you can sit in it. You might have a little bit of mud or a little bit of leaf in there. But, you know, all adds to the. <laughs> you know, it, there's so many things you can do. Um, moon water, you can you can use moon water to make um, if you're making certain things, you can add a little drop um, of moon water. Again, you can bathe in it. You can um, you can put. You can put words on a piece of paper, biodegradable paper that you wish to come, you know, that you want to happen. You want to manifest things that you want to happen or things that you want to remove. Perhaps you want to stop smoking or you want to stop a bad habit or something like that. And you can put that into the moon water and let it disintegrate. 
put it back out in the moon even um wash away wash away any bad feeling um any bad habits perfect time to go on a diet i need to do that <laughs> Um, there's so many things we can do um, I'm just trying to have a look at my notes so um, obviously with Samhain approaching on Tuesday and the vow is low for the whole of this month anyway people think that the vow is only low for like the 31st no the vow is thin it's it's, it's thin and it's low. I call it low it is thin and the connection between the spirit world and our world is very 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 thin and it's a perfect time to connect with um, spirit if, you, if that's something that you enjoy doing um and it's um so i say it's sticking in my back <laughs> i think it's the dog's toy um it's perfect it's perfect for that time and again with your charged crystals and you could perhaps create a new altar space that's always something lovely to do on a full moon create new altar space all your all your tools and your crystals and all your bits for your altar can all go out there and all come back in and be charged and I, I always like to um, to change it up a little bit for for soured as well. So you could do that. You could do that later on tonight and charge you know change up, charge your stuff, change your auto space in time for the sour rituals. You know, um, and they don't have to just be the thirty first. They can go on. You know, they can go. They can go on all day and all night and the next day. Um, you know, it doesn't it doesn't have to stop just because it's you know it's not the 31st it's gone into the first it doesn't matter we're still going first second it's absolutely fine and the and the, the vow you know yeah it's not as it's not as thin but it, you know and it starts to obviously thicken again that's how they say it um where the two worlds are, are so are so close at that time um the moon is at the darkest the moon's in the darkest spot at that time of year in october um, and it kind of all coincides with itself because it is a fantastic time for any kind of spell work, for any, for any, for any occult, cultism, for any witchcraft, any magics that you want to do. It's a perfect, perfect time. Um, bonfires, of course, um, you know, writing words on paper, chanting, ch shouting them out, and throwing them into the fire. Just be careful if you're having a bonfire lighting the cauldron outside and just you know burning burning things as in writing down and getting rid of it get rid of it burn it or creating it creating it is your words it's your manifestation of you you know it's your intent that goes into it remember with the spells and i've done quite a lot of videos on spells if you want to have a look but it's the intent that goes into the spell that makes it work it's your intent it's your intent that creates the magic to make the spell work um, so yeah, it is, it is a fantastic, a fantastic time of the year for us to have a full moon two days before Samhain. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I've got plenty of moon water, but I know my mum's got hers out already and she will have every single tool available <laughs> out there tonight, charging, charging on her cloth. She always has the, like a nice cloth and sometimes she has dried different dried herbs that she sits around with it and she has it all out on her veranda she lives in the woods and um it you know so the moon can come down and um charge everything up it's it's fantastic just standing out there and being under it um and thinking positively thinking about the things that you want to do and the things that you want to change um is you know what what better what how much better does it get standing outside surrounded by trees you know if you can if you haven't got any trees and you've only got a concrete back garden as i have doesn't matter stand out there you know with the form it's just fantastic there's so many things and this is this is the most for me lots of people i mean all the moons are powerful all the moon cycle itself you know 29 and a half days around the moon cycle all the moons are powerful and they all you can create spells and magic in any time your magics don't have to just be on a full moon but i always find with the full moon especially when it's close to something like this one is is the most is the most potent and the most perfect time for me whatever you're doing tonight add a little bit of graveyard dirt in there because you know i'm obsessed with it um it just it just helps with anything if you're going to make a spell bag or you're going to you're going to cast some spells you're going to do a jar whatever you're going to do whatever you're going to make always add a little bit of graveyard dirt in there because it just it just gives it that oomph of spirit of spirit power just you know and uh obviously with the vowel being so thin 
it's just the perfect time so yeah i hope you have a wonderful full moon whatever it is you're doing drop a comment below let me know what you're doing tonight for the full moon i'll be back tomorrow with something else witchy because i know it's all been horror horror and horror and the monsters and horror i know i'm obsessed but you know i can't change me <laughs> happy full moon everybody have a great saturday night i'll see you all on the next one see you later